Okay, so we need to implement the functionality where when we select some text and click on our context menu item, we must be able to add the amount to our total. And for that, we make use of another Chrome API. So what we basically do is listen to the clicked event on this context menu item. So let's go back to our event page.js and we're going to say chrome.contextmenus.onClickedAddListener. So we are basically listening to the clicked event on the context menu. So now this is going to take a callback function, so function, and it is going to have an object. I'm going to name this as click data, but you can name this anything you want to. All right, so once we have the click data, we first need to check if what the user clicked on is our menu item. So click data dot menu item ID equals our ID over here. So spend money. And we also need to check that there is some selection text after all. So click data dot selection text. So if the user clicks, clicked on our menu item ID and he has selected something, then we need to do something. What is that? We first need to check if the user has selected an integer value. Now there are are several functions that check if something is an integer and I'm just using one of those so I've just copy pasted this function is int and when you pass a value it is going to return true or false based on whether the value is integer or not so if I'm going to use the function is int and I'm going to say click data dot selection text so if the selected text is an integer then we're going to basically do what we did with the popup.js. So chrome.storage.sync.get. Now this is going to return an array. The first one, we need a total and we also need the limit. So once we have this, we can have a callback function. So function, the callback function will have budget as the argument. And now we can initialize our new total. So new total equals zero. Then we try to get the existing total. So if budget dot total, then we are going to add that to the new total. So new total plus equals parse int because we need an integer value. So parse int budget dot total. And then we can go ahead and add our selected text to the new total. So new total plus equals parse int click data dot selection text. So basically what we are doing is initializing our new total to zero. And then if there is an existing total for our extension, we are going to retrieve that and add it to new total and then Whatever the user selected, the integer value, we are adding that to the new total. So once we have the new total, we can go ahead and set that back in Chrome storage. So chrome.storage.sync.set. What are we setting? We are setting the total and we are setting that to new total. And then remember we had the notification if it exceeds the limit. So we are going to have a callback function and we are going to say if new total is greater than or equal to budget dot total sorry budget dot limit then I'm basically going to copy this so apart from popup dot js I need this notification right here okay so now we should be good to go Let's save this and let's select something. Okay, let's check, let's check the total. It is zero right now. And I'm gonna spend money on 28. And okay, let me let me let me reload it just to be let's let's see, let's see. Oh. Okay, 28 spend money. 
it's going to be 28 and now when I click on 75 or when I spend 75 we are going to be exceeding the limit of 100 so we should be getting that notification so 75 spend and there you go limit reached so now we are able to add or spend money from the web page and directly add the total to our extension so that is it about context menus